this section, we're going to show you how to bind an AS3X receiver. Binding any of the AS3X receivers is very similar to binding any other Spectrum receiver. We have a bind program port, and you simply plug your bind plug in that bind program port, and then through any other port, you're going to go ahead and power up the receiver. In this case, the receiver is out of the model. We're showing this so it's much easier for you to be able to see how this works. If it's installed in a model, and if it's an electric model, you'll likely have the throttle um, plugged in in channel one, and you'll plug a battery into the electronic speed controller. It powers it through the BEC, and of course that will put you in bind mode. In this case, we have a, a separate battery pack, and we'll just go ahead and plug that into any other port. And when we do, you'll notice that the bind LED is flashing. That's indicating that the receiver is in bind mode. The next thing we need to do with the transmitter, in this case I have a DX9, we're going to go ahead and put the, the transmitter also in uh, bind mode. So in this case, I push and hold the bind button, I turn the transmitter on, and I wait for a few seconds. Binding. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry. Bind complete. The transmitter and receiver communicate and eventually the LED goes on solid indicating that you have a successful bind. Um, now what's important to understand during that binding process we actually stored the failsafe settings for all the channels. Um, so it's very important that when you bind that you bind at low throttle and if you want failsafe um, to be able to go to any position if you have loss of signal then you also need to uh, put those um, channels in the correct and appropriate position. For example if you have a glider you're probably going to want to trim a little bit of down elevator and maybe some rudder so that the airplane will spin down uh, in case you have loss of signal. You know obviously the throttle needs to be in the low throttle position. Now you're probably going to need to go back later and rebind to reset those failsafe positions which we'll talk about in the failsafe settings later um, just to be sure that low throttle is truly low throttle that you're not going to reverse the channel. So um, in any case you've done a successful bind and now you're ready to go to the next step.